Oh, look, we got a bear. I just realized. I didn't realize it. Uh, he didn't look like a bear to, bear to me. Look, like, look at his. Look at what he's wearing. He doesn't look like a bear. No, nope, like, what kind of bear wears that? You know. The real bears don't need no armor, defensive <laughs> uniforms. All right, against the Lux. So one thing with this new build is that you can't really be aggressive that much. It's really risky, especially with considering the fact that I don't have any magic resist anymore. It's a really risky build. So uh, I personally, I've been playing a lot more passive in lane. Normally, I'm, I'm really aggressive, but um, I just have to be a little bit more passive just because of the build. Don't really want to risk my death. Ow. <clears throat> Who's your jungler? Zen? Okay. What the f How did I miss that? Oh my goodness, this game. All it does is make me sad. No! <laughs> I had to use my Q, I didn't want to walk into it. Uh, jerk. Ow. What was that for? I think it's just harassing, honestly. He's not He's not giving me... Um, Alright, so... Good players have a pre have kind of a presence in lane. You can, you can tell uh, between a good player and a bad player after you play this game a lot. And then you can take advantage of the enemy based on that. Like right now, this I don't feel a presence from this, from this uh, Lux, so I don't really feel threatened by her. So I'm actually just gonna harass her, because I mean I don't feel under any threat at all. Like you, do you see those slows? I don't know if she's trying to land them on me or she's trying to last hit. She's not trying to laugh. he's not trying to harass me with that. Oh shit, I should have seen that. I thought that was her auto attack and then I realized that halfway it wasn't an auto attack and I, I couldn't react to it in time. Is that our top lane? No, it's spot lane. Double kill, no. Wow. Ow, Jesus. That was like three auto attacks. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. I'm just so squishy. I just take so much damage. Like, I've had to pop three health pots, and I've been tossing Qs on her all day. Ow. Oh, wait. No, she only has one. I thought she had... 80 runes or something. So she, she backed off. Oh no, she's staying. Silly, silly. I should be able to hit 6 soon. I should be able to do something then. Pretty good mana region. I wonder. Oh fuck, that's bad play on my part. <clears throat> Whatever. Um yeah, I mean I was just checking to see my damage output. I got myself killed. I wasn't think uh, I did. I completely forgot she had a root. Mm, I assumed that I could kill her, but apparently not. Her, I thought her shield was would be on a lower, longer CD, but apparently not, because I like she just cast it. Um, on my last Q, she used it to to reduce my Q damage. So actually, it must be on a shorter CD. What is it? 
is on a 14 second CD. That's actually pretty long. That's strange. I would think that it would still be down. Because my queue is on a 9 second CD, so logically it should have still been maybe 3 second CD before when I went in on her. So, 3 second or 2 second CD, so I have no idea. It's a bad play. Should have seen the. Should have known. I don't play Lux, so I don't know what the CD is on it, but I thought it would be longer. <sighs> I'm on such a terrible tilt right now. <clears throat> oh yeah, but with this rune build, you do a lot. Your your ult does a lot more damage. So, um, I mean, if you are in the same position as I am, you can usually just go in and get a full ult off, and you will deal a lot of a lot more damage than normal just because of all the AP you have. Because right now I have 34 AP, and I don't have any AP items at all. Like I basically have one and a half ability tomes just, just from um, just from runes. Yeah. Shit's on CD. I usually have a rule with ganking other lanes. My rule is like if I don't have summoner spells, I shouldn't gank. Um, but I mean, oh well. And see, again, this is why I have that rule. If I had Flash or Ignite, I would have killed him. So, I just wasted my time. I'm going to lose some farm on the turret. Like, I'm under farmed, under leveled. So, this is not good. <clears throat> Alright, so their jungler is dead. So, that should be a free dragon for us. Right there. I see a lot of people run AD on Anivia, um, just because her her auto attack range is her auto attack range is so large that she can actually her legitimately harass someone out of lane with just auto attacks. Lux has a blue buff. Either way, bot lane's uh, Ezreal's flash and his barrier are down, so they they actually might be able to make a play now just because of that. I can't walk up. She still has her root. I don't want to get hit by it. Alright, she backed off. What? I still missed that? You have to be kidding me. <laughs> whatever. So, when you're losing your lane like I am, or you're screwed up, or whatever, your best course of action is just to farm. Keep up with the game. So, one thing I see happen a lot is people trade a lot with their with their enemies. Like they, they, Whenever they come back into the lane, they trade kill, and they think they're doing well. Like, I get that to me. That happens to me sometimes, too. But... You have to think of this as an entire, um, as a like an entire game. If even no matter how, f well, like sorry, no matter how um, how well I'm doing against my enemy, this is still a team game. I could be super ahead of my enemy, but really behind in terms of the rest of the team. So when we come into team fights, I'll still be super weak, even though I quote unquote beat my enemy. So. Sometimes it's better just to farm, just to make sure you keep up with the rest of the team and don't fall off. I can't farm this. Or can I? That is not nice. I still got hit by that. What the f- oh my god. They dive. You guys still lost, and Ezreal doesn't even have barrier. <laughs> He's dead. What's his HP at? He's at he's at he's full. All right, so we can definitely try something. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Just kidding. Yay. <clears throat> that works. What I get now, oh, yeah, my thing. Yeah, so one other thing I also have been doing is early game, I say this all the time, early game, gold matters a lot. 400 gold is worth a lot more early game than 400 gold is worth late game. So even though I can't buy a full, even though like it's hard to buy a DFG because you're not gonna have 1600 gold on you, especially early game. Um, what I think is a better choice is to pick up part of an item early game if you have to if you have to pick up part of an item it will actually it may make the different make a really big difference um, 
Like I could either save this for my big for my latest large rod, or I can just buy it and see if it actually helps. And most of the time, it actually does help. So um, again, that's just just a little tip. Even though I, I tell people not to buy bits and pieces of items, if you have to early game, do it. But don't do it late game. Don't do it mid game, late game. Do it early game. <clears throat> or if you're buying a gold per five, then yeah. See if I can swing bot. I have terrible ward coverage. Oh, it's because I didn't have enough gold. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to kill her. Actually, no, I'm not. Not without ignite. Again, that's another rule for me. Uh, if I'm against, and I'm if I'm one v one against the enemy, and I can't guarantee that I can kill them, the only time I allow myself to go in is if I can guarantee a free ultimate or. Um, I have my ignite up, and I don't have my ignite up right now, so I don't think I can guarantee a, a, a one battle right now against her. Ah, uh, see, and also when the enemy's skills are on cooldown, like that, like her, I know her her skills are on cooldown, so it was an easy pick up for me because I dodged dodged her uh, her her I dodged all of her skills, so um, I could guarantee like again, like I said, if you can if I can get it, guarantee a free ult, I will do it, and that was a free ult right there. I know that Zin wasn't there, I know that her skills were on CD, so that was just free for me. Also, just gonna free push this, I guess. Mid mid lane is a very important turret. If you can take up, um, gain free access to the enemy's jungle, both top and bot. Ow, I got hit by that. Your Q range is slightly smaller than your E range. Like if you look at this right now, you can tell. See this little this little blade of grass. Is I got a text. Please don't be what I think it is. I cannot read group messages. All right, so I'm in a position right now where I'm actually gonna wait <laughs> for my Nexus Larger. Oh yeah, by the way, you notice how I killed Lux? If I did not have this blasting one, I would not have been able to kill Lux. So that's again, that's why um, early game it's good to buy bits and pieces of items if you have no choice to do so. Not good, but it's it's something you you can do and should do if you have no choice. I am texting while I'm playing this game. It's hilarious. Let's see. I gotta do this shit. Data services. On. I got too much stuff going on, guys. Too much stuff. The heck? Oh my god, what's a CD on that? I'm not gonna try anything. I don't know where where Zin is, and she's being strangely more aggressive than normal. So I don't wanna I don't wanna fight her. I don't even know why I should put onto her. It's just it's too risky. When someone's being unnaturally aggressive, you can assume that they have something that you don't. Is that warded? I think she knows. That's why she's okay. Like notice how she stopped being aggressive at all because she yeah see she knows he's there. I need to pop over down, this is ridiculous. Just warded. I don't know if you guys see that, but there's a Zin coming. I do no damage whatsoever, this is sad. I'm not gonna go in on that if like I know Lux is just gonna bind me, wasting my time. Um, I knew that Tark was dead, so I wanted to go after Zin, but again, I do no damage to him. That is, that is actually a little bit sad for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go fire. Oh, oh! They don't know. Oh my god! Oh my, they have a, they have a Zack since when? I 
he's dead. He's not dead. Oh my god. Oh fuck. My four pie didn't go off. Oh. Lock it. Too strong. And the cat's too weak. Cat's too weak. I couldn't buy any anything because I don't want to buy parts. I don't want to buy. I don't want to buy part of a hat, part of a DFG, and part of an hourglass. That's just too excessive. Oh man. Why did they make AP items so hard to buy? It's so saddening for me. They're gonna take bot. That's ridiculous. He's in flash. That's why when I flashed W, it didn't land it on him. I, if my W landed, he would have died. But he, I think he knew it was coming, so he flashed earlier. So I couldn't land my W. And that really screwed me over. What's the resolution I'm streaming? I have no idea. I'm just streaming in. Whatever. Okay, we... oh, shit, I hate this. I don't think we can stop them with 3v2. And I'm also texting, so if I'm texting, I can't do anything. Oh, looks like I can't look at text when I have low battery. Oh, they're taking it. Alright, I'm coming. I'm coming. You said Zach won't be solid. Did you change my? No, I haven't changed my mind yet. Again, it's just, it's the reason why I don't think he's solid is because of all of his skills cost h cost a percentage of his HP. So, like aside from that, he's a very good champion. He has a lot of CC in his skill set. Is that in? Where's that in? I have to get my DFG now. Because again, no no other champion in the game um, has all of their skills that cost percentage of HP. Like, no other champion. Why am I walking this way? Who designed this? Why? What is this pathing? Why did it go downward? Oh my goodness. I just wasted time. Isn't that good? It's terrible. No! Back off! It's dangerous! You guys are screwed. Can I do anything? Oh, there, I actually took him pretty low. Oh, shit. I hope I can do something. I didn't even need to use my uh, thing. Actually, shh. shh. I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, fuck. So, I would have. I was waiting for my ult to go off CD. As soon as it's off CD, I can pop my Fort Pot and try to kill Lux, but she caught, she caught me way before my ult was off CD. It was like a second off CD when she landed the slow, so I, there's nothing I could have done there. Also, I, I was out of awards, so there's nothing I could have done. Oh well. Either way, I picked up a double kill there, so I guess that's fine. And I think Na did Nami survive that? I think Nami survived that. I don't know, but I know that Volibear survived that. Co maybe not Kogma, but I think Volibear and Nami survived that. So otherwise, that would make it worth it, I think. Not sure. Not sure. Yeah, my stream is set lower because I'm not allowed to change settings yet until I'm partnered. <laughs> I completely forgot they had a Zack on his team. Oh shit, he's dead. Stop beating Zack, I didn't do shit. Lux killed me. Oh, I got the turret. I'm a little bit scared. I don't know where Lux is, and I don't know. Oh, there's an. Alright. Alright, not as scared anymore. Shit, that was weird pathing. He got it. And if he, if he doesn't, then I'm coming. Oh, there's a shroom! Now he's dead. I'm coming to help. Hold up. 
Ah, oh, yeah. Jeez, best passive ever. Ah, oh, I'm such a good person. Good job, whoever designs that, good job. <laughs> You've made chaos thing even easier. The last person who destroys the bop gets killed. Like that's just that's what exact that's exactly what just happened. There you go, bye. Actually no. Yes. Go, 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 go. He's out of mana. He can't. The only way for him to escape is if he has flash, which he might not have. I think I got him. Did you just flip him away from my. No, I don't. Oh, shit. Oh, I couldn't do it quickly enough. Ugh. Like, I, I know I have 4 pot, but I thought I could ward triple. Like, I even got the ward off. It didn't. But my triple didn't go off in time. That's so saddening. I don't think my 4-pot would have saved me though, honestly, like, this 4-pot only gives me a 200 HP and I'm going glass cannon and cannon, I'm gonna drop really quickly, I really don't think 4-pot would have saved me there. I think if I was able to, if my ship had gone off, I would have been survived that, but I don't think 4-pot would have. Like, I only have 51 MR. That's not gonna save me. Um, I'm not too sure where Volley's position was, so I think... If I could super volley, I would have, but I think... I don't, I'm don't. i not too sure, I have to go back and see it, but I think he... It, uh, his positioning still would put me... Where... Well, I don't even know. Probably should... Oh. Well. Crushed. Crushed! <laughs> Outplayed. Meanwhile. Just auto-attack him, yeah. Oh my god! It hurts. Damn, Rain Man, I, I thought you were gonna carry me. What the f- what was that? That wasn't even aimed at me, that was just aimed at the creep, and he still missed the creep. Again, uh, once I pick up my hat and DFG, I'm set in terms of damage output, and I'm going to focus on picking up defensive stats. So I'm going to pick up my rush my Guardian's Angel as quickly as possible. Uh, if I need more damage, I can pick up um, I can pick a Brilliant Pot up, which also scales with my hat. So it'll be like a free uh, measly large rod, kind of not really, but close, like hat, like 60 AP. It'll give me extra 60 AP, I think, 60 or 50 AP. If I need more AP, a low cost 200, 250 gold for for fifty something AP. That's that's really good. So I don't know damage. Oh, my Q didn't go off, but I don't think I would have killed her even with even if my Q went off. What is it? Three hundred eight damage. How much HP does she have? Uh, I can't see her. That's great. Whatever. I put Lux out of the fight, so she can't really do anything here. Oh, just kidding. Oh, he missed. Don't chase that deep. Yeah. That is so sad. Why am I so weak? Why is Cat so weak? I have 415 AP and I still can't finish them off. Oh. What the hell? Why would you get a Runic Bulwark? I'm the only person who does magic on a team. Teemo's going AD. Who would do that? Why would you do that? These guys are all jerks. They're like, hey, look, it's TNC. Let's let's build a ton of MR just for him. Okay, good plan, guys. Oh my god, this is so dumb. I have to rush a Void Staff as soon as I finish a GA. I was wondering, like, why do I do no damage? I have, I went full glass cannon and I do no damage. You know, that's actually really stupid of them, because 
Cogma is the one that's fed, not me. He's nine and four. I'm seven and four. Like, and they're gonna build a magic resist item for him. Like, they would have been better off going at Randuins. But no, no Randuins. Would I go for GA and not Hourglass? GA gives me more more survivability. And one other thing is Hourglass. You can't use Hourglass when you're stunned, and that's what happens. When I'm playing Cat, I go and I get my ult off. I'm just gonna sit there and let my ult go off. Um, and I'm gonna get CC'd. And if I get CC'd, especially because I'm going Glass Cannon, once I'm CC'd, they're probably gonna kill me while I'm CC'd. But when I have a GA, it still goes off even if I'm CC'd. As for Hourglass, it's very hard to use an Hourglass, because, like I said, you can't use it when you're CC'd, so you have to use it before you get CC'd. And how can you tell if you're gonna get CC'd or not? Dude, I feel so bad for Rain Man. He's just getting... Haha, <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> Alright, guys, KS, KS part 2. KS part 2. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. Fuck. Damn. God damn it. I've been thwarted. Yes, my GA won't be up all the time, but honestly, it's that one team fight that I win that can really snowball me into, into the. Like, you guys have probably seen games where one single team fight basically determined the entire game. That's. That's basically what I'm rooting on with GA. Also on top of that, GA gives me... Hold up. Ow, fuck. <laughs> yeah, got her. No, wait, nope. That damage was not... I thought I damaged her with my Ignite, but that was actually Nami tossing some shit out. Either way, I'm out. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Did we get it? Oh, we got it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm sad though. Couldn't kill her. My Ignite didn't go off early enough. Um, my habit with Ignite is I don't use it immediately until I can guarantee that it will pick up me, give me a kill. Because one thing I see a lot of people do is they pick up, they, they cast their Ignite as soon as they go into a fight. And that's not, a, that's not necessarily good. Because when you do that, when you cast your Ignite immediately, the enemy is like, oh, okay, his Ignite's on CD and... I can I can prepare for that. I'll be like, okay, I'm ignited. Maybe I should back off earlier. But on the other hand, I, I do this to people often. Like I go in and we have a quick fight, and they're and they think they're fine. They think they're doing okay one v one. And then when they're almost close to dying, then I pop my ignite on them, and they're like, shit, I gotta back off. But it's already too late. So if you ignite too early, they might just back off. Like you'll. But if you save your ignite, you can bait them into fighting you a little bit longer. Um, that's why I try not to use my ignite. And I, I'm just gonna take this. <laughs> this is all I get. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna pick up a GA now. Oh, where's my charger? Ah. Free texts and I don't have any battery. Oh, where am I? What's going on? Sorry. It's taking years to download. <laughs> oh, well, sorry. I'm just clicking all over the place. I'm not even walking it into a general direction. So yeah, as you saw there, like I got stunned by Tark and I got dropped to a, f a fifth of my HP. Um, there's no way I could have hourglassed that at all. And if I did hourglass, that actually would have guaranteed my death. Because if I hourglassed that, they would have been able to set up for it. They'd be like, okay, he's hourglassed. All we have to do is wait two seconds, and then we can set up and kill him, kill him off. So it's just, it's just there's always a trade-off with each with each item. There's some bad stuff and there's some good stuff.
Like some skills are very hard to hourglass. You can't really hourglass a Soraka Soraka silence. It's instantaneous, you know. And volley bear and chase pussy. You're a bear and you're a pussy at the same time. This guy, non-confrontational. You're a pussy bear. Yeah. Like a pussy cat, but a pussy bear. Oh shit, get back here! He probably has to jump. I think I, I think I turned him into, yeah, I turned him into- Oh! Never mind. So you'll notice I didn't cast my, my Q there earlier, because lately it's been really annoying. Um, DV DFG Q E W is actually pretty hard to land, because, like, it, like, you might not be within range during that time. Oh, maybe, like, I try to do the combo, and then the enemy just flashes out. So, I mean, I sh if I do DFG E, it's instantaneous, and I can just back off. I mean, I could just land everything immediately, but obviously it's not as much damage output, but it's a, it's a little bit, it's a lot more, it's a lot safer, basically. No damage! Does she have R? She has MR? She has MR, that's why. Did I just get stunned? I just got stunned. Am I getting hit by a turret? Oh, yay. Yay. But yeah, I do no damage. I'm so sad. I need my I need this void staff as quickly as possible. That is not good. What is this? 538 AP? Not bad. Haha, <laughs> go Rain Man! Do your silly build. Your silly tank Teemo. It's not really silly, it's actually a good build. It's just it's it's just ridiculous. It's just hilarious to see a little mi like you're you're a little midget that tanks a shit ton of damage. Like that's that's hilarious. I don't know about you, but I think that's hilarious. Shh. Oh shit, guys, guys, Zach, 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 Zach. His jumps down. He just used it. Why is he so big? That's what she said. Jesus. He's out. I'm out. He is huge. Wait, why does he get big? Like, I mean, I've played him in PB, but I don't understand why he's so large. It's ridiculous. Shit, I'll back off. I don't want to get flash stunned. He gets bigger when he gets HP. Really? That is... kind of dumb. Usually you would expect some kind of requirement. I mean, being big doesn't isn't always a good thing. It's you're an easier target, you know. It's easier to like it's harder for you to dodge skill shots because you're so large. Obviously, on the flip side, you can body block for people, but still, my shit's not up. It's not good. No, oh, they gave up. They're giving up, guys. Where are they? What are they doing? Uh, do, 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 do. God, move at speed. Ow, don't do it. Oh, did we get him? Alright, I don't need to chase that. We should push top, because mid mid's already pushed like that. Uh, top is easier to push down. Yeah, so I can insta give AD carries. Like that's why I, I go this build. I do this build so I can insta give AD carries. I destroyed like Ezreal before he can even jump away. Ow. Oh god, don't do it, please. I swear, if I die to some stupid little luck skill, I will be so mad. Watch, watch me die to some stupid luck skill. Nope. 
Yeah, you, you need to smart cast everything if you want to cast everything faster. Yay. Got my board staff, guys. Oh shit, I should actually buy my plus three boots now. Um, plus three boots, I always get these on cat because the faster movement speed, you can get closer to your enemy and do your combination. So, do we have, do we have a pink? Nope, pink. Okay, whatever, no biggie. I mean, they're not even, Ezreal's not even responding. So I can I can safely assume that they're they don't they don't know or they don't or they've given up because I mean otherwise we would have seen Ezreal pop his all or we would Ezreal would have left the map to try to stop us because honestly once we once we just took Baron they we've kind of sealed their fate unless we screw up really badly because if they're able if they were able to stop us at Baron kill all five of us and take Baron they could have turned this game around so. That would have been a worthy gamble, and since they didn't take it, I can assume that they don't. They didn't see it. Oh, I thought they took dragon. Apparently not. All right, shh, shh. I was a bit slow on my part. I actually thought someone else would come, so I, it took me a little bit longer to respond. No, I should have done it immediately. Whatever. I wouldn't have killed him either way. Um, my combo, with my combo, I was only able to take him the half before he jumped over. I don't think my ult would have been enough to take him even to, to take out another half of his HP with ignite. He doesn't have any MR. No wonder he drops so quickly. Speaking of which, oh my goodness! Look at that deeps. Look at them deeps. Dude, I totally want to buy a new large rod. Also, my DFG is enough. I don't want to fight without it. It's like my... It's the, it's the main part of my build, yo. Ow. Uh, I think I'm going to back off here. Oh wait, my DFG's up. Shit, I could have gone in on- I didn't want to go on on Ezreal because I, I couldn't guarantee it with my QWE, but I can guarantee it with DFG. I didn't see my DFG that- I didn't see that my DFG came up. That's too bad. Shall we push bot? What's, up? What's wrong with our volley bear? Outer Ignite finished. <laughs> Wait, I'm at full HP already? That was quick. Don't do it, Mang. You're a bear. I mean I mean even though you're a bear, not because you're a bear. Even though you're a bear. Ow, it hurts. Alright. So this build, um, I guess it works. It works.